Well, we're back. It's time for our Health uh, Africa Health Network update. Lino Mudu joins us now with more on her discussion with a top health official in Africa. Hello, Lino. Hello, Vincent. Hello, everyone. Well, in part two of my conversation with Dr. Luis Gomez Sambo, the World Health Organization Regional Director for Africa, I asked him about his thoughts on the drought in the Sahel region, which is causing hunger and malnutrition, and how it should be addressed. <music> Climate change is affecting different parts of the world. The environmental risks are a fact everywhere in the world, and we must be prepared. And the preparedness capacity is the main problem in Africa. Nevertheless, I should say that uh, uh, governments are uh, taking steps uh, recently. The heads of state in the African Union summit in Addis Ababa, they decided to adopt the creation of the African Public Health Emergency Fund. It is a type of solidarity fund from contributions of different governments, African governments, to address uh, public health needs in situations of emergency. But uh, this is still a process that is starting. In a project like this, do you think that they should prioritize uh, countries with fragile economies? The right is for all countries according to uh, evidence. On your agenda, there are several priorities indeed. Uh, tell us about other areas that you think deserve a greater attention right now in Sub-Saharan Africa. We spoke about HIV AIDS. Mm -hmm. It is one of the major public health problems, but we still have malaria. We have uh, tuberculosis. We have uh, the neglected tropical disease, and we have the chronic diseases that are uh, becoming more and more significant in terms of uh, public health problem everywhere. And uh, also the maternal and child health that needs to be improved, particularly maternal health. Maternal mortality is still very high in sub-Saharan Africa. I would like to have your take on the Millennium Development Goals. Earlier this month, the UN has announced in a report that three out of the eight goals have been achieved before 2015 with regards to poverty, slums, and water. Where do you think Africa stands in terms of reaching the MDGs by 2015? Do you even think that these goals are realistic for Africa? Well, you know, I always considered the Millennium Development Goals as uh, ambitious for Africa, but uh, it's good to be ambitious. At least uh, uh, the efforts uh, towards the achievement of these goals will uh, enable some progress. And uh, we should recognize that uh, in relation to the MDGs, we realize progress in Africa, but not enough. Can we um, maybe break it down per country or maybe per goal? If we do that then, are you optimistic whether it's about the MDG 4 to reduce infant mortality or maternal health, MDG 5? Do you think that there are some countries that show promise? Oh yes, certainly. Uh, if we speak about individual countries, uh, some countries are making uh, uh, progress and may even achieve uh, the goals. In general, the progress towards the MDGs is not good enough in Africa. We need to, to scale up already identified uh, public health uh, interventions. It is possible if we put the resources, if we manage the resources uh, efficiently, uh, we could make more significant progress. What do you see as the way forward with the MDGs? Well, uh, I think that uh, it's a uh, good idea to establish targets and goals to be achieved collectively yeah, in the world because each one of the goals are very much relevant in the context of a human development that is uh, an aspiration of any country in the world and uh, speaking about uh, the health MDGs uh, in the African region we realized <coughs> progress infant mortality reduced in Africa. The burden of uh, HIV AIDS also is reducing. Not good enough, but uh, we are realizing reduction in terms of uh, incidence and uh, prevalence of the disease and coverage of relevant services. Malaria is also making 
significant strides in, uh, in, in African countries. So uh, there are gains, very concrete gains, but they are not enough. At the current pace, it will not be possible African countries to achieve the MDGs in 2015, maybe beyond. And I'd like to finish with a personal question. As a director for Africa, when you think about your work and the responsibilities, what keeps you going? What keeps me going is, first of all, the team. Uh, I have a great team uh, working with me in the African region. We have uh, 46 uh, countries. We are aware of the, the constraints, uh, but we believe that uh, uh, with uh, innovation in terms of ideas, in terms of tools, and with uh, increased participation of, uh, of people to address their own public health problems, uh, we can achieve more. And that's our Africa Health Network report for today. For more health news and developments, be sure to visit our website at africahealthnetwork.com. Back to you, Vincent. Well, thanks a lot, Lino. Be sure to watch uh, Lino Modu's informative Africa Health Network report every Tuesday and Thursday right here on In Focus.